projects that exist. G-code is an old technology. It's basically coordinates. So every part that you design is like here's a test. Here's a test. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, whatever. Every part you design ends up being one layer at a time, 2D coordinates. So x and y. So this is drawing lines between points on a plane. And then when it's done drawing the outline of everything it needs to do, it will fill it, fill the middle. And if it's an outside layer, it's going to fill that with a solid. And if it's an inside layer, it's going to fill it with a matrix um, based on your settings. It can be a crosshatch, it can be honeycomb, it can be squares, circles. So uh, you're going to see after it draws the outlines, it's going to draw the fill. And then when it's done with that layer, it's going to raise up a mic, you know, like a, a 0.4 millimeters. And then it's going to draw another layer. And there's enough volume of material coming out that's going to squish into that layer below. And this is a this is running at 110 degrees Celsius, so it's a couple hundred degrees uh, the heated bed. And you see our glass is cracked here. Um, the, the, the hot end there, uh, that white wire, is actually a thermistor which measures resistance and yields of temperature. 210 degrees Celsius there, which is a little over 400 degrees. So it's pretty hot. <laughs> and that's the temperature that ABS happens to work here and works well. Um, PLA, you melt it at 90 degrees, so it's lower, but the downside is it gets super. It doesn't, it's harder to cool. So you run the bed at like 60 and the tip at 90 Celsius. And uh, that's how you print with PLA. And, you know, it's somewhat forgiving, but not as forgiving as ABS. So you'll, you'll watch it here. It's, it's doing two layers, and now it's doing the fill. See how it's filling it in with a solid layer? And it'll do a couple, three layers like that, depending on your settings. Once it finishes the solid outside layers, it'll start doing that matrix I talked about.